right, here we go. This is the season finale of Sci-Fi Blitz. Thank you for joining. Here we go. Getting started in three, two, one, lift off. Here we go. All right, so uh, let's start off with a mesh. I'm gonna go for cylinder. I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna delete the top and the bottom face for now. You can see those, we're just gonna scale that in just a little bit. Double tap G, drag it down. All right, just bringing that in. Just I'll just hit I to inset. I'll just bring this in. I'll do the same thing for this one. I'll hit I to inset, bring it down. I'm just gonna do a knife to cut, knife to cut. Where's my knife tool? This, grab this vertex and just come along like that and do the same thing here. And this one, I can hit E to extrude, and then just grab that on the Z, bring that in like that. I'll grab that in, I'm gonna turn snapping off just so I don't e to extrude, grab that in. I'm just kind of doing this by I, E to extrude, grab that in. Do another loop cut, uh, just up like this. I'll get control B to bevel it and just split it up a little bit in. So I'll hit E to extrude, I'll scale in, and I'll grab Z, bring it up. So it's got that little like elevated Thing. Now let's switch views and let's hit E to extrude and grab Z, come down, E to extrude, grab it in, E to extrude, uh, grab, grab Z, bring it up um, like this, and then E to extrude, scale it in, and then we're going to E to extrude, we're going to bring it down, da da da, and then we're going to scale in a little bit, I think, E to extrude again, that thing, and then we go up, grab Z, down to this point, sort of like a little cone thing. And uh, this one kind of just goes in and becomes that platform. So let's uh, let's hit E to extrude, we'll bring it in, and then E again, and we'll grab it down, and then E again, we'll scale it up. Is it circular? Yeah, yeah, this is actually like a perfect circle that then extends out. So this is actually a different thing. We shouldn't do it this way, we should do it as a different thing. What do we want to use to make something that looks like this? I will use a cylinder again. But this time I'm going to increase the number of faces to like 38, I think. I'm going to scale it up. I'm going to shift Z there to, to, to prevent myself from scaling on the Z. Um, uh, now it is smooth. So let's 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 create uh, some some double edges here. So I'm going to click R and I'll do roll my mouse wheel to get a double cut there. And then I'll scale on the Z to just drag these guys up. And this will help Blender know how to shade it. So now if I shade smooth, I get this nice hard edge. 47 minutes, all right, we gotta, gotta keep going. We gotta fly, we gotta fly. And uh, E to extrude, we're just gonna scale it up a bit and then grab down, do, 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 E and grab it down. And I think this is what we're just gonna send this thing straight down like this. So what's the, what does it look like from a distance here? And it's quite rounded in this, isn't it? Let's keep moving. This thing uh, right here, it's sort of duplicated and spin around on the other side. How do I do this? I'm gonna go um, cylinder, scale it down, actually 38. I'm gonna go 25 on this. And I'll scale this right down, grab it on the Z, scale it right down, grab it on the X, boom, boom, boom. Scale, grab it down, um, and up like this. I'll just go into edit mode for this, this guy. I'm gonna delete the face. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Delete the face. Uh, I'm gonna use a UV sphere for this. Grab up. I'm gonna grab the top half. So if I just look at it from the side, double tap A, switch to vertex mode, make sure I'm in X-ray. Go here and I'll grab this up like so. Scale it down, get out of X-ray mode, bring this down. I'm not gonna bother with the circular array or anything fancy like that. I'm actually just going to do it like this. All right, so we need like a bright uh, emission guy, a shader on these guys. I'll go ahead and stick that on because it's pretty simple. I'm gonna switch this to the emission shader. Say, make the 3D cursor my uh, my point and I can hit rotate and that'll just do it like that. And that's much quicker. Love that 3D cursor. That's my American accent there, cursor. I switch back and forth all the time. Those of you who new, I'm, I, I live in Australia, but I, I was born in America. So I've got this bizarre hybrid accent. Scale, negative one. That's what I was trying to do. Just bring it up like this. I could just create, um, let's see, mesh, how are we doing for time? 37 minutes, flying through it. All right, grab Z, scale, uh, scale Z. I'll grab a new material for this, and this one we're gonna set up for our sort of glowy shader. I'll, I'll just give it a slight blue color for now and turn its alpha down. Uh, okay, now we need to do the doohickeys that are in here. We don't have any doohickeys yet. That's important. It's always important when doing sci-fi, you must have doohickeys. Um, all right, I'm gonna grab uh, edge mode. I'm gonna grab my, my loop cut here. E, grab up on the Z just to touch, E, scale that back out here. And then E, we're gonna groom this up and scale that in like so. Um, now, this section is not shaded smooth, so I might grab these guys and shade them flat. Again, these are just kind of like ancillary details, so it's probably overkill to worry about them too much. Um, I don't wanna get bogged down 
E to extrude, grab it in just a little bit. Uh, a bit dodgy, but that's all right. All right, let's keep going. You got a bad feeling about this one, 4K. Uh-oh, terrifying. If 4K is feeling bad, then we're in trouble. It's 27 minutes. We got a long way to go still. All right, let's go to our camera. Let's go and get that set up. And then uh, let's see, let's pick a, a good lens for us. Maybe a 30 could work. So I'll grab this in X, grab this in the Z. Just bring it down, maybe scale it down a little bit. Ba, 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 ba. We do have this bridge thing that we haven't done, but you know, we're living on the edge. Let's get this uh, these walls going. So let's go ahead and create a shift, let's go mesh plane. Scale it up, rotate on the Y by 90, grab it on the X, boom. All right, so we got a couple of things now we need to do. We need to get um, we need to get some materials going, we need to get our lights going, and we need to kind of get some kind of like metal stuff going on this. We should also put in a bridge real quick. We're gonna just dirty the bridge just for speed's sake. And there we go, bridge, done. Now we don't have any lights in our scene yet, so I'm gonna go ahead and take my world and bring my world shader down to nothing. And then I'm gonna turn on bloom and screen space reflections. And we're gonna come here. I'm gonna take my emission. I'm gonna select this so that we've got these guys going. Um, and I'm gonna take my vibrancy up to like five, I think. Um, but I'll bring the alpha right down so that they're not really all that visible. And then we're gonna take this guy and we're going to actually add a, a light into the scene because we are gonna need some light. Uh, so I'll bring this around. All right, let's create a sort of metallic shader for this guy. Um, let's come over to here. And I might just select, what is it, Material 2, I think. Um, and I'll apply Material 2 to all of these. This is looking bad. Can we pull this, can we pull this together? What do you guys think? All right, let's get this, let's get this wall thing going because this is the quintessential thing that we need. Uh, I'll bring this up. I'll go to my image editor and we need this stuff. So let's find a good view of that. We'll start off with uh, a grid, I think. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to type in brick. Sorry, brick texture. I'll just throw it into the emission so we can see it. I'm going to use my texture coordinate uh, mapping node. Boom. Uh, let's go uh, generated and I'm going to go into the vector. Actually, I'm going to go object. I want to go generated. Um, and let's see, I'm gonna use not the color, I'm gonna use the factor. In you go. I'm gonna go constant, squash. I'll make my frequency of the squash be three. My width down a bit. Go, I'll take my mortar size up. We're gonna need to take a couple other different things and combine them. So let's grab a Verona. I'm gonna switch to Manhattan. I'm gonna grab these dudes and shift D, bring them up, and I'll bring this in like that. I'll bring this. I'll just get this, bring it up. Put it here, 18 minutes. Okay, here we go. All right, so this one I'm gonna rotate on the Z by 45 degrees. Bring it there to more like a, a brick pattern. I'm gonna take my randomness down and I'm going to, if I do it like this, then I am gonna get weird stuff the further out we go. All right, let's start with this. So we're gonna mix RGB. Pull that right there. I'm going to go multiply. I'm going to take this, pop it into here. Factor, turn all the way up to one. Now we're cutting it out, so we've just got certain sections. I feel like this one's still a little bit thick, so I need to bring my mortar size up. Is that right? Also, what I can do is I can take all this, put it out here. I can grab a color ramp. Oh well, man, 16 minutes, the pressure is on with this one. Jeez, I didn't think this was gonna be this crazy, but it is, I never think that though. All right, that's pretty good color. Um, might take my vibrancy up to two, so we get a little bit of glow out of it, which is nice. And then we can also do this nice thing with the mortar. I can change my mortar, um, what do I wanna do? Mortar, I just need to change the scale. All right, uh, so. Go. There we go. Let's bring this one right down. We're gonna do it like this. There we go. Let's pull this like this. I'm just gonna do another one of these. Pull this into this. We can do this. Hardest blitz yet. We're ending, we're ending on a high note. All right. So I'm just like creating some extra grid lines with this, so we can like just chop out sections like so. Um, and then we probably need one more. All right. There we go. So now we've got like these definite grouped patterns question is, does it look good? Does it matter? Do we have time to worry about whether or not it looks good? It's not bad. It's not bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. Uh, I will uh, sh copy this um, and I'll bring this over here. I'll uh, pa paste it. 
Um, then we're going to grab a bump mount node. Height and width to be something a little more reasonable. Um, and we go Manhattan. Oh, 10 minutes. 10 minutes. And I'll put the distance into the factor. And then I'll bring my scale like way up on this guy. There we go. Uh, and maybe expand my like so. And then I can take this, bring the strength down just to get something going. It's a bit more, you know, panel-y. Paste it. Uh, I'll grab a normal. Did that actually copy? No, it didn't. It copied the wrong one. Of course it copied the wrong one. I'm in a, I'm in a rush. Um, and then that gives us something. Does it even look good on this? I don't even know. Bring it down a bit. This guy up here, the main walls, we need to have a bit more reflection on. So I'm going to bring my metallic up. Bring my specular down and my roughness as well. That's going to start creating some nice reflections. A view that feels like it's at least remotely from the movie. What if we used a point light instead? Turn it up to like 100. And then made it blue, like the like the beams, right? No, 200 maybe. Oh man, eight minutes. All right, and then like another uh, lamp, uh, point lamp. Let's grab it on the X and the Y, bring it out. Turn it up to like 100 as well, just so we can kind of see it. All right, that bump looks horrible. Find a good angle for it. Bring it down. I'm gonna turn off my lock camera to view. Six minutes. 51. We're getting there. Like, something is starting to happen. Dun, 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 oh. All right, we should probably, like, make this a little bit bigger so we can actually see what things are looking like. I'm gonna go mesh, uh, UV sphere, scale it right down. I'm gonna put a material on this that's got, like, a slight emission to it. Um, uh, something blue, right? And I'll just grab it here. I'm gonna use turn on snapping uh, to face. And then I can just drag it around on the face, go into render view, scale it down like that, shift D, just move it around, shift D, grab it here, shift. There you go, it's a little bit of something. Um, and then we can take the same dudes and stick some over here. That's a bit better. All right, let's let's get the door in. Um, let's jump out of here. Jump out of here. Oh man, two minutes, 48 seconds remaining. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right. So, uh, yep, we just need to bull this thing, I think. So I'm just gonna take this, shift D, grab it on this, uh, turn off snapping mode, scale Z, bring it up, scale Z, so it's kind of door shape-ish. Grab X, uh, we're gonna take this guy. Um, we need to, probably need to subdivide this a little bit more too. So I'm gonna hit all F3, subdivide. This is just for safeties. Let's do a bunch more, let's do 10. Uh, all right, so let's go to modifier. I'm gonna go bool. We can do this. We can do this. We can do this. All right, boolean. Come on. Uh, object. This object. Uh, and then I can take this object. Where are you? Where are you? Hide. Yep. There we go. All right. Um, then I can just apply it, right? Can I just apply this? And then I can go into edit mode and I can grab these this loop that we just made. Um, uh, come on. Edge. 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 Oh, just just work. Just work, Blender. Come on. There we go. E, grab, uh, I need my handles, I need my handles. Minute 30, bring this in, just like that. That's all we're gonna do. All right, do we need it on the other side? Um, jump my camera, can I see the other side? No, all right, back to render view. All right, uh, we need to have, we need to have those, those little things, little white things. Um, let's, let's jump into here. Uh, so, oh gosh, come on, back out, back out, back out. All right, let's come right here. Um, there we go. Uh, let's see. I'll just, I'll just, uh, edit mode, um, face, face mode, minute left, uh, shift S, cursor just selected, out of edit mode. Uh, I'm gonna create a plane. I'm gonna rotate it on the X 90 degrees. I'm gonna scale it, uh, down like this, uh, like this, grab it on the, uh, come on, handles, just pull it out. No, no, that way, that way. Uh, grab it on the Y just a little bit, scale it on the Z. I'm gonna switch over, I'm gonna give this thing a new material. We're gonna use an emission, uh, there it is. Uh, I'm just give it a strength of three. Uh, I'll go like that. I'll go like that. Uh, I'll do an array. Uh, array, 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 array. Boom. Uh, I'm gonna go zero. I'm gonna go one. Uh, fixed count. No. Uh, fixed length is what I want to do. Uh, length. Uh, zip. Oh, it's the, forget it. Shift D. Grab Z. Shift D. Grab Z. 
Shift D, 20 seconds. Grab dead. Da, da, da. Shift D, grab dead. Bring him down. There we go. Jump into the camera view. Double tap A. Oh man, they're so big. They look really gross. Can I, can I save this? Eight seconds. Uh, individual origin scale Z. Double tap A, one second. Hands off. Well, there you go, Sci-Fi Blitz fans. It's how you do the Death Star trench room in one hour. It's also how you give yourself an aneurysm. Uh, I need to go for a walk. <sighs> As season finale, Sci-Fi Blitz coming to you live from CG Cookies YouTube channel. Thanks for watching today. Thanks for joining. Thanks so much for uh, joining me today. For every time you've joined me for all the Sci-Fi Blitz episodes, it's been a really fun first season. And uh, I can't thank everybody enough. Please don't forget to like the video, leave us a comment, please subscribe to the channel, and uh, let us know that if you enjoy Sci-Fi Blitz so that we've got some good feedback that we can take into the war room when we decide what we're gonna do next uh, for the next season, for next year, if we're gonna continue the show or not. So if you'd like to see more Sci-Fi Blitz, let us know, smash that like button. And uh, yep, yeah, uh, thanks again for watching. Oh yeah, we never saved, ha <laughs> ha! That's a great note to end on. I'll catch everybody later. Have a fantastic week. I will see you in the next tutorial. All the best. Bye. And this could be a complete disaster. All right, you guys ready? Three, two, one, go.